of the things I believe the Prime Minister ought to, and I believe the Prime Minister will speak to, is the matter of public cleanliness. Um, the JLP over the years has a, a history and enviable record of public cleanliness with you know, Mr. Siaga and NPM and then the other regional cleaning companies. And we hear the cry of the people in terms of the backup of, of, of um, collections. And I know that it is something our prime minister, our leader, has his ears on the ground and he would have heard the cries of the people. So that's a matter I believe he will speak to. He will also speak to the affiliates of the party and also speak to the delegates in terms of their responsibility as party members, party delegates, how they are to conduct themselves in their communities, how they are to engage persons in their communities in order to get the positive message of the party out into the communities. Because there are many policies of the government that are sometimes less understood. Strategically, they reaffirm the party's position in terms of our the commitment to bring good order. And that has to be all aspects of law, law and order um, to provide a foundation for growth, which leads to the kind of income, prosperity in the short term that we would like to see in the country, that um, will give our people the quality of life that we, 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 we want for them and that they desire. So I think on those three topics, you'll have to you know, focus the party membership as well. But having been out of, relatively out of touch in terms of having, not having the engagement we want our workers and supporters, is to rear, realign the supporters' focus on the party's <coughs> program. Just that we've all it, the topics have been alluded to. But public order, involved all aspects of public order, public safety, um, building a foundation for economic growth, involved infrastructure and all aspects from highways to national road highways to national broadband highways and all that come between all of that. And of course, as I said, you know, maintain the economic program that will encourage investment, productive investment, and part of that investment in the side public or in public or the south side, the you know, education program, to ensure that Jamaicans will have the skill set to really grow the country in a sustainable manner. 